Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, gentlemen, we have a lot of ground to cover in a short time to get there, so let's just start with the big themes here. General Allen, is this a defining period in the war on, in Afghanistan? I believe it is, sir. Uh, would you agree with me, we really haven't had it right over 10 years, really since General McChrystal, have we had the right strategy with the right resources? I, I believe we have the right strategy now with the right resources. So it's really not 10 years, unfortunately. We just had it right for the last several years. Do you agree with me, uh, Dr. Miller and General Allen, that Afghanistan is the center of gravity for the moment in the war uh, on terror? I, I believe it is, sir. Senator, I do, and uh, given the, our history there, it's also essential for our, for our credibility in conducting operations elsewhere. Uh, here's a comment. No one can guarantee success in war or politics. You can do your best. I have a great deal of confidence in your plan. I ask my colleagues to listen closely. You've asked good, hard questions, but I've come to conclude that you and your plan represent the last best chance for success in Afghanistan. Do you both agree with that? I concur with that, sir. Senator Graham, this is an, is an essential moment in Afghanistan. I got you. I, That's good. Senator, I want, I want to say that th there will be bumps on the road, and you know that, sir. And, this is uh, the last best chance. No guarantees. No guarantees. Okay. This can be done. Here's my comment to my colleagues. I understand it is difficult back home, but I believe that this is our last best chance, and the only way we will really fail at the end of the day is for our political system not to support the general at a time of his greatest need. And I know it's costly, I know it's gone on a long time, but we've got to keep it in perspective. Dr. Miller, I urge the administration to stand by this plan to make sure he has the resources he needs, and I will promise the President of the United States and the members of this committee I will do everything on the Republican side to give you the support you need to execute this plan. Now, uh, in terms of the cost, would you agree with me, uh, General Allen, in the history of warfare, the attack on this country of 9-11 that cost probably a million dollars to plan and execute was the best return on investment in the history of warfare in terms of the cost it inflicted upon the intended target? A great asymmetric. So attack. here's what you need to understand. It took a million dollars to knock down the two, two towers and kill over 3,000 Americans. And the place that attack came from is Afghanistan. So please think about what it would be like for our future safety if the place we went to to secure we failed. I think we would be buying in terms of cost a lot more than the cost of staying and getting it right. Now, as to the Army, General, um, um, Senator Levin and I have the same absolute opinion on this. What's the difference in cost between 230000 and 330000 a year to maintain uh, Afghan soldiers? An army of 330 versus 230. Is it $1 billion, $2 billion, $3 billion? Do we know the difference? It's between two and three billion, sir. Okay, what I would suggest to this committee, after all we've done, that we should take a view that that two or three billion dollars of annual cost for a period of time is the best investment we could ever make to make sure we don't have to go out again. General Allen, is it your goal to leave Afghanistan withdrawal with security and honor for the United States? Of course it is, sir. Now, do you agree with me that the strategic partnership agreement, if entered into and executed properly, is the turning point in the war. I believe it is, sir. Do you agree with me that if we maintain the night raids as a military tactic, the enemy will suffer greatly? He will. Do you agree with me that you will never allow that program to be terminated? You will always uh, strive for Afghan sovereignty in terms of its implementation? I will, yes, sir. Okay. To the detention agreement, will you please tell Captain Nair, the man who's been doing this along with his team, that he extended and took a year away from his family that he didn't have to do, and it bore great fruit to you and your Afghan partners. Congratulations on the agreement. Thank you, sir. Now, do you agree with me that if we have a follow-on force, not of just trainers, but of a counterterrorism force, strategically located in Afghanistan, 
air bases with American air power and special forces units. That's the end of the Taliban's dreams of ever taking over Afghanistan. I do believe that, sir. And that is part of the strategic partnership agreement. Is that correct? It, it hopefully will be, sir. That is the insurance policy for this nation that never again will Afghanistan go into terrorist hands. Do you agree? I agree with that, sir. And that Pakistan needs to quit betting on the Taliban because they are losers. It will stabilize Afghanistan, which is good for Pakistan. Now, what is it? Tell me how the people of Afghanistan view the Taliban as a whole. Do they miss them? Uh, there is no love lost there, sir. They hate them, don't they? They consider that period what they called the darkness. The what is the feeling on the ground in Afghanistan of the 85 percent of the people who want to live free of the Taliban about what we may or may not do? How do they feel right now? I think they, they're deeply concerned that we may not conclude a strategic partnership agreement. I am telling everybody in this committee that if we get this right, not only will they feel better, but I will feel better and we will win this thing. Killing bin Laden, congratulations to the administration and to our military. Did the killing of bin Laden affect the Taliban much at all? I, I believe it affected Al-Qaeda as a network. Uh, the Taliban have not registered uh, there's no registry of that. So to those who believe that you can kill a few terrorists and will be safe and come home, do you agree with that, General Allen? Is that the way to maintain perpetual security? No, no. There, there, the stability comes from a long-term presence. Doesn't the stability come helping the many <coughs> where they live fight and defeat these bastards in their backyard so we don't have to send 100,000 troops? Not not just help them to be able to fight, but also to give the population confidence that it's the right force for them, too. Senator Graham, 